What is good, YouTube? It is your boy, Fugio here. And today I am bringing you something very special and something new. Something that I have never done before. And I don't think any of these other people who are involved with this have before either. This is going to be Pokemon Moemon. But there are three special plot. Actually, no, maybe three? I don't know. There are at the very least two special plot twists. I don't know. First off. It's but, but the randomizer. Yeah, it's it's a randomizer. You see, that's that's not normal. That's not normal. It's a randomizer. Uh, another thing is that you will get to pick our starter, which is what this first part is. It will be going on everybody's channel who is part of this thing. So go check them all out. It won't be different, but I will have links to everybody's channel who is doing episode one, two, three, four, five, six, eight and nine and number seven we haven't decided yet um i have three or i have two possible people who are doing seven uh so once we find out which one of those two will be doing it i will link their channel but either way uh and then the other part is it is a tag lock y you might not have gotten that but either way uh we're just gonna pick the boy and uh obviously i'm not gonna name it fugio but uh i'm i'm gonna name it something i'm, I'm gonna name it mayo Yeah, Mayo. So Mayo is moving into Little Root. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, I'm really excited to see the starters, everybody, because I don't know. Actually, I'm the only person who does know, so I'm sure everybody else who's watching this has done it. Because originally I was going to do this as just a Nuzlocke. So I saw the starters, and then I was like, hey, I wanted to do a tag lock, and I already have way too many series. I wanted to do this game, I wanted to do a tag lock, and I was like, hey, this is kind of perfect. Mayo, we're here, honey. You must be tiring riding with our things in the moving truck. Well, this is Little Room. How do you like it? This is our new home. It has a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room, Mayo. Let's go inside. Really, bitch? See, Mayo, isn't it nice in here, too? The mover Pokemon do all the work up. Of us. Wait, of moving us in the end cleaning a bathroom. This is so convenient. Why don't these Pokemon look like Moemons? Let's see what the Machoke says. Gwa gwa gwa. Gwa gwa gwa. <laughs> Damn it, I meant to change my clock. Um, change my clock. So. Everything put away neatly, they finished moving, blah blah blah. Movers are so convenient. You should make sure everything's on your list. I like when people say that because that gives you like the incentive to check out the little uh, trainer tips and it also like you're like, oh, and now I got a free potion. Swig. Super swig. Oh mayo, mayo, come, come quick. Oh yeah, I am. <laughs> we bought you this from Pelbar again. Um Let's go over here. Oh, hello, and you are. Oh, yeah, Mayo, I'm your next door neighbor. I hate Mayo, you guys, by the way. Mayo is fucking gross, but, um. <laughs> that was gross. Let's check her emails. <laughs> Pokemon are fully restored, items ready. Ah, who are you? You don't notice the guy masturbating in your bed and looking at your emails? That seems legit. Okay, peace. I just want to make this quick, so. Now we go into the Petalburg Woods, if I recall. I could hear someone shouting down here. Uh, huh, 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 help. <laughs> Hello, you over there. Please help in my bag. So real quick, you guys, I'm going to save. Save game. Boom. I had that save state from originally when I was going to pick my Pokemon. But either way, you guys, before I even show you what our Pokemon are, I'm going to be telling you who is going to be doing each part um, of this tag lock in order. Um, like I said, number seven wasn't chosen yet, but this is episode zero. This will be done by me. Episode one, we're going to make it so that each part, the person finishes a gym leader. And then after they beat the gym leader, they'll stop. So... People go through all the woods, catch a shit ton of Pokemon in the Battle Roxanne, beat Roxanne, bada bing, bada boom. And uh, the rule is that you're not allowed to do anything that takes place outside of the city where the gym is. So if there's a route after or there's something else that you're like, hey, I could do this before I battle the gym. No, that's not allowed. So like, after beating, you're not allowed to do the 
Whismer Cave thing after you beat the first gym. But either way, the first gym leader in the first part will be going to Crimson Wolf 429. The second gym leader in the second part will be going to Nile Stadium, and he'll be doing Whismer Cave and Brawly, and he'll do the cave where you have to find Steven, so he'll have a lot of caves. Part 3 will be going to, if I recall correctly, Sinister Sableye. He will be doing a lot, actually, before he gets to Watson. His part, I would assume, will be at the very least hour. I'm assuming that most of these parts will be an hour, hour and a half. That's just an assumption, though. Then, part four will be going to Pokey Madness 1996. He will be doing Flannery. I don't know how long his part will be. I forget if that's, like, really long. I know he has Battle Team Aqua and Team Magma. So, that might be a long part as well. Um, then... Part 5 will be going to Fancy Cross, and he will be battling Norman. I think Fancy Cross's part will personally be one of the shortest parts, because all he has to do is really fly back and then battle the gym leader. So I might let him do a little extra stuff if it's under like 30 minutes for him to beat it. Um, then the 6th part will be going to Tom, Tom the Swellow. Um, <clears throat> I'll have to get him to link, give me a link to his channel. But he'll be doing part 6, so he will be battling Winona. I honestly forget everything after the 5th gym, so I'm not really sure uh, how long that will be. Then part 7, like I said, it was undecided, but they'll be battling Liza and Tate. Originally, he was going to be Bull Striker, but he's actually going to be taking a break from YouTube just in general. Um, I'm not sure if he's bringing that in an update video or not, but he's going to not be doing daily uploads anymore, nonetheless having enough time to do this, which I'm fine with. I told him that's cool. So we're not really sure anymore. Part 8 will be going to the Omega, or Omega Zero 1990, wait, 9991, so 9991. And the final part, which will be a combination of Victory Road, the Elite Four, and the Champion will be going to me since I created the tag lock and everything. Uh, I'll probably have a bunch of people on my call when I'm doing that. I might make those two separate parts where I do Victory Road separately. Um, and I might do that alone, and then, I don't know. I might even give Victory Road to a separate person, I'm not sure. But either way, let's go check out our starters, that's what you've been looking forward to. We have a Growlithe! Ooh, 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 right? Growlithe? Or was that an Arcanine? Yeah, it's Growlithe. No. <gasps> Alakazam! Ooh, I like that, I like that a lot, I like that a lot. Ooh, what if there was a Mega Stone in this game? If there was Mega Stones, Mega Alakazam, and Mega Beedrill. But either way, you guys, you can vote for which one you want us to use. Me Beedrill, Alakazam, or Growlithe. Cute puppy, spoons, or sharp needle things. But either way, I do hope you enjoyed this, and uh, peace out, YouTube.